Hello, Overrated Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy Overrated Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day, girl. A couple of days ago, our friend Adam from uh, App and Adam did an interview with Kelly Dot, and you know what? Kudos to Adam for interviewing her, and you know giving her the time of the day. You know, Adam, he's so sweet. He's always like uh, giving an, a chance to everyone. But like Kelly Dodd, let's say that if she thought that this interview will put people on her side, girl, I don't know how. <laughs> Honestly, I, I have no idea how because it's like she dig her grave even deeper than when she was before. You know, like she is like down, down, down. Like the things that came out of her mouth were so wild. Like I can only imagine being Adam in front of her, listening to all of her BS and thinking, girl, this girl is delusional and it's not going to change. You, you want to think that maybe she's trying to put like on a show or something? No. This is who she is, okay? And we're going to talk about every single thing that she said. Thanks to an, an user on Reddit, which I haven't been able to find the name. It just says Bravo Housewives, but I don't know if that's the name. But this person did a list of all of the things that um, Kelly Dodd said. And I was like, you know what, let's just go through all of them. I'm still going to be leaving the link to Adam's video on the description of this video so if you want to go and watch it you can go it's like an hour long uh, it's just like I already watch it and I'm like Ugh, I'm exhausted you know like Kelly dot mm, you know but anyways um, before we get into it do not forget to subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel now you can do it through the thank bottom right here and let's talk about this old mess Ay, Dios mío. No. My friend, my son, and my sister. I am so glad that Juan Dixon is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. Better? It's bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. So... Should we just get into it? Yeah? Like, should you just start talking about all the, the things that came out from, of, from Kelly Dodd's mouth? So the first one, I mean, Kelly said that Rick's life, no, I'm sorry, Kelly saved Rick's life because if he had stayed at Fox News, he would have gone to Ukraine where one colleague was blown up and another was killed. <sighs> you know, it's it's the, the delicacy on her words, you know, it's like, <laughs> yeah. Her entire take on COVID continues to be wild. I mean, if you think that she changed her opinion on COVID, no, it, it's never going to change. It's the same. She literally said that all people are leeches on society. Okay. And, be, and um, according to her, um, apparently you are only worth being alive if you are making money, girl. She's saying that she is not a racist because she did one of those tests, a DNA test, and she is 6% black and she has dated black guys before. So, of course, she cannot be racist. <laughs> I can't. I, can, I mean, you cannot make these things up, okay? Rick is asked if he had if he has to defend Kelly and he says he helped her explain herself better that people just don't understand her that she that that's the real issue rick says everyone wants to be kelly's friend everywhere they go even in home depot where okay like where are people dying to be kelly dot's friends um kelly feels attacked by bravo and andy coin Girl, you are not being attacked by Bravo or Andy Cohen. You are being attacked by the world because you are a horrible person. And I think I have said this before. The problem is not being a Republican. Many of the housewives are Republicans. That's not the main issue. Is that she acts like a crazy person and she's like disrespect people and she doesn't understand what she's doing. You know, and I just, 
yeah. Uh, she says that Orange County filmed for five weeks her last season, and because she wasn't afraid of COVID, she was villainized. Andy called her and said her time on the show was good, but her social media is why she is in trouble. Blames not hiding a social media person. Well, of course. She slammed Heather Dubrow as being a terrible person and says the number tank after she left. Girl, it has nothing to do with Kelly Dodd. I'm so sorry, but even with Kelly Dodd on the show, you cannot tell me that she was the most entertained person to watch. Like, no, take several seats, okay? She says that she likes Emily, but she, th but she thinks that she's boring. She thinks that Gina is the worst, that Gina has a bad body, a bad posture, that she's not funny, that she's dumb, that she's a bad dresser, and she thinks that Shannon is entertaining and is good at her job, is everything, is good at her job, is everything Gina isn't. Yeah, I remember watching that, she did a whole scene on Gina, like it was the angriness on her voice when she was talking about Gina. You know, like talk like down down her like so much. She talk about the house. She talk about the boyfriend. She talk about the posture. She talk about everything. And yes, I know I, I am not a fan of Gina either, you know, but not for all of those reasons, you know, like she is literally like personally attacking Gina Kirshenheit. And it's like, why do you feel so affected? You know, I think it's a little bit of jealousy of like, oh, she's there and I'm not. You know, but still. Uh, she considered herself canceled in the Bravo world and wakes up to Google, to Google alerts every morning with articles about you. Mm, girl, let's be honest. We don't talk that much about Kelly Dot anymore. I think we moved over from Kelly Dot a long time ago, okay? So maybe she's reading all articles, but yeah, I don't think so. People who wear masks outside voted for Biden and probably not independent thinkers, of course, making it political. She says that she is politically moderate. Okay. She says that Bravo doesn't know their audience and says that they think everyone is woke, but uh, liberals, but 77 million people are like her. And that's why Orange County ratings went down after she left. Bitch. People are not watching Orange County because they are Republicans. This is not about politics at all. We actually cancel shows be for being too political. Look at what happened on New York, okay? No, it doesn't have anything to do with it. I mean, to me, the, the numbers went down because, first of all, they were filming during COVID, which was bad enough, you know, and then they are trying to recover from that. But every single franchise went through the same thing. It's just, I, I mean, honestly, I think Kelly has like that hero complex, you know, and that she thinks that she is the bitch, you know, and that every, like the world can work out without her. And it's like, girl, you are so replaceable. It's insane. Um, to, 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 let's say that there is a whole sidebar on the BLM a Black Lives Matter organization and crime uh, says that if they bring Tamara back, they should bring her and Vicky back. Why? Due to Vicky's schedule, they don't know if the podcast is going to happen. Um, they talk about Heather Dubrow pushing someone. Kelly says that Emily texts her that happened, but Emily didn't saw it. And then she go in on Heather saying cameras down. Uh, she says that Tamara told her that she will invite Kelly to a party, but Heather wouldn't engage because she is a chicken shit. Bravo called her hysterical over the drunk wife matter and hat, and she was almost fired right then. Recall it ridiculous, and she was fined sixteen thousand dollars for it. She compared it to how Lisa Rena is acting now. She says, you don't quit reality TV because it's like being a stripper or a prostitute. It's easy money. She agrees she was fired to bring Heather Dubrow back. Uh, she says that her favorite housewives ever are Ramona, Shannon, and Vicky. 
Uh, she says that her least favorite housewife are Heather Dubrow, Browen Windenborg, and Peggy Sullivan. That's the only thing that we probably can agree, okay? Because there is, it, I mean, Peggy Sullivan, it, homophobic Peggy is right there with uh, Kelly Dodd on the same, like, place. Since leaving, she likes not having Big Brother on her back when posting on social media. She will come back for the right amount of money. Girl, you're going to stay there because they're not going to offer you anything. When asked about people with criminal convictions being on the show instead of her, says that Bravo is exploiting everyone, that they are a business and they have an agenda. And if you don't confirm, you're fired. Rick says crimes are okay, but wars are not. Uh, she thinks that Andy likes her but is afraid to back her publicly when he came after her in the past. The pressure was from Bravo. She didn't vote for Trump, but Emily did. She said that people watch for Kelly and the numbers went down when she left. Again, it's like she said the, whole, the same thing over and over and over. When asked about Erica, says she's not dumb and she knew she just didn't pay attention. Rick thinks she didn't know the details about the money, but more didn't care. Both slammed her for her lack of sympathy for the victims. And then it went on and on and on and on. <sighs> but these are kind of like the main points. Look, Kelly Dodd is never going to change, okay? She just show us that she is the exact same person, you know? I think like I would I, I would like to ask her if I will have her in front of me, I would like to have like a conversation to kind of like find some middle ground, you know, because the thing is like we know that she's not going to change the way that she's thinking. She's not sorry for absolutely anything. She doesn't think that she did anything wrong. So how can we have a conversation and respect each other knowing what we know about each other? You know, that's the, an interesting interesting point to to see you know what even like with all the things that i said about kelly dot i would like to have a conversation with her one day just to see her like see her processing things because it's so well to me the way that she thinks it's just crazy to be honest but yeah kelly is kelly now, there is a lot, a lot, a lot more on this interview, okay? So if you want to watch it, again, I'm going to leave the link on the description of this video. Go and check uh, Adam's channel. And let me know in the comments right here, what do you think about all of this? Yeah, let me know. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.